Okay, we are going to do our signaling system now. This thing now, this one is going to be used to indicate the forward operation. When the conveyor is going on forward operation, this light will illuminate. When it's going on reverse operation, this one will illuminate. Then this one is for the fault lamp. Whenever the overload is deactivated, where there is a fault, this lamp will come up and this one is going to be red. So let's power them now. Power them this way. Take note, this overload is normally open. This one is normally closed. Why this one is open is that upon this fault taking place, that is when this one will close and this one will open to shut down the system. Once this one opens, the entire system shut down. But I still have power here steady. And once this one close, the steady power that I have here will close to give us all, give all this indicator. If your other system here will shut down, only this one will come up. Alright, so let's change their names. This one is going to be for K1. So change this one to K1. K1. And this one is for K2. And this one is overload. So this one is going to be green. Forward is going to be green, then backward is going to be yellow. Yellow is uh, almost close to danger. Then this one is going to be red. Red. Then in some cases, we use a lamp to indicate backward in some industry. Use a lamp. But for production line, you don't need an alarm because the forward and reverse is already in a normal operation. So we use it for normal operation. So you don't need a lamp. Instead, you need a signal lamp to know when the production line is going on reverse and when it is going on forward. For some goods will be conveyed during forward operation and some goods will be returning back during reverse operation. All right, so in that case, you can now visualize what is happening within the conveyor. So, right, so let's carry out our test. Um, can we test now or use another video to test? So, if everything is set, I will now test. Let's see.